So I decided to stand in the uh, mayoral elections because it's a brilliant once in a generation opportunity for our region. We are making progress, but not enough people are sort of sharing in that. So this mayoralty is an opportunity to really turbocharge that progress and restore the leadership of the West Midlands in the country. Oh, big difference to the other candidate, well, the main candidate is, of course, a career politician, uh, the Labour candidate. Uh, I am not. I'm a business person who's come to politics after a different career. And I think that really should give uh, your viewers confidence that I can actually deliver. I've had a whole career of delivery, and that's the difference. Uh, so this is a different job to the mayor of the city. The mayor of the city was about running the services the city council runs. That was probably not the best way forward. The city is going to continue to do that in this, in this new world, and the mayor is going to do new things with new money coming from governments. It's additional money, and it's about new powers for things that can only be planned on a regional basis. And if you just think about it, transport can't be planned just at the edge of the city. Housing can't even be thought about the total conurbations needs just by each local authority. And indeed, jobs. People travel across the West Midlands for jobs, and it's those things this mayor is going to concentrate on. The advantage is fresh thinking. The advantage is actually bringing different skills to the table, bringing someone who knows how to put a plan together, that's why we've done all this work, and then knows how to make things happen through leading a team of people. Because this isn't about just one person, this is about everybody working together to deliver this plan. And that's what you learn in business, how to lead teams. You can't change the fact that candidates are that. What you have to make sure is the candidates are extremely well connected throughout all the community of the city. You also have to test their personal values. And I hope people would look to see what I've been doing out and about everywhere, genuinely engaging with every community. And my plan is all about how all of those communities succeed and we share in the success together. So I can't change who I am, but I can make sure I am genuinely connected with every community. Well, I think the, uh, the obvious answer to that is that I ran a company that um, succeeded for a lot of very normal people. Uh, John Lewis was not a flashy company with lots of people on huge salaries. It's actually about people doing really honest day's works in our shops, in our distribution centres. And I think I was pretty well connected with the sort of lifeblood of that company. So that's clear. So we talked in our renewal plan about the need for 165,000 homes. That's a lot. And we've talked about a five-point plan for getting those built. Starting off with using public money to accelerate the development on brownfield sites. Talking about bringing empty homes back into use. Talking about greater density of housing around the city centres where transport already exists. Working with other authorities that, are, that uh, can take housing outside the immediate area. So we've got lots of practical ideas as to how we accelerate the housing development. Yes, it's a very important issue of public transport. We, the only way we will ease congestion is getting more people to use public transport. And the good news is the deal that set up the mayoralty gives us new money to focus on this. So we're going to be reopening disused railway lines like the Camp Hill line out to Moseley and north to Castle Vale in Birmingham and indeed through the Black Country, the Warsaw to Stourbridge line. We're going to be extending the tram network. We're going to be putting much more money into cycling routes and we're going to be prioritising buses. So all those things together can really give people an alternative to sitting in their cars. So uh, I've got to be part of the success, of uh, making a success of uh, Brexit for the West Midlands. The thing the mayor can do, because it's basically a national issue, but the thing the mayor can do is make sure the government really understands the needs of West Midlands businesses. So I'd be knocking on the door of Downing Street saying, Prime Minister, this is what West Midlands businesses really want out of these negotiations. So the only way that you close the gap 
is growing the economy for everybody. So what this plan is all about is how we do that and share the success. That's the critical thing. And we have got to have specific interventions for people who are missing out. One that's just been announced this last week, which is very good news. There was, we, uh, we kicked off a programme that we called Work Coaches, which was for people who are worklessness in the most deprived wards to work with an individual coach to give them the right skills to get back into work. We've now got the money to extend that across the whole of the conurbation. So it's practical answers like that that come together to form a vibrant economy. So we talked in a plan about a homelessness task force. This is something I want to lead personally because it's such an important issue. And it's about bringing all the agencies together in a coordinated way to make sure we go back to the causes of homelessness or rough sleeping because that's actually where the origin of the problem lies. So it's about all focusing in a really all-in way on this.